first of all, I'd like to pray for Joe and Isha and, and Zeke. Uh, I wonder if those around them could, I, I know we can't really touch at the minute, but if you could just put your hands out around them so uh, as we pray for them. Um, yeah, let's, let's pray. Father, we pray for Joe and Isha and Zeke. And we thank you for the last 10 years that they have spent in Bali and um, in the way in which the work that you have involved them in with the street kids, with DTS and, and other work in, in, that, um, in that place, Lord. We pray for Bali for the lockdown at present, Lord. We pray for all the people that they know and love there that have become their family, Lord, that are probably really struggling at this time because all of their livelihoods are really a threat at this time. So we just lift with Bali up to you. We pray for Joe and Nietzsche as they continue to seek your direction for them from Madagascar. We pray that they'll be able to go just to, to see the place, to get an idea and a feel for it, to see what you're actually calling them to. We pray that that will be made possible soon. And we pray for them, Lord, as they look into how they can be involved in that community. And for Nietzsche, with the community development, the pastoral side, and for Joe um, and preaching and, and being really hands-on. We pray, Father, that you'll open doors for this, Lord. And we pray that as their plan is to go um, um, at the end of the year or in the next year, Father, that you, this will happen. We pray that this, this, if it's your will that they go, that you just you just do that for them, Lord. And we pray for patience for them in this time as they prepare for that and a time of rest and a time of, uh, yeah, still um, adjusting and catching up with family and friends, Lord. And we, and we feel really blessed that we have them here with us at the minute and pray that we can, sort of take advantage of that a little bit and find out a little bit more about their lives and share in that, Lord. So we do pray for that and we pray for Joe as he gets up a little bit later and, and, and shares your word for us, with his Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. So now we're just going to go into the rest of our prayers. And there's a little bit of a prayer that, that I've been reading that um, really uh, spoke to my heart. I'd like to share with you in a bit, yeah. So Father, we pray as well for those who are still recovering from COVID. Um, and as we look at our country, Lord, as we look like on the 19th to start opening up more, Father, help us to be wise in this and to, and to know the best way forward, Father, how we as a church can help our community out there and how we can lead by example and how we do it. So, Father, as the elders look this week to look at how we do that, Father, I pray that you'll really guide us in that, Father. We pray for our youth and our children. Um, as they're meeting Lord today and for Nick as he brings out, I've forgotten your nabbit's name, and brings out his little friend to um, talk to them Lord and to just um, share the other skills, the magic tricks and skills and things that you have given them Father, I pray that you'll be with them and they'll have a lot of fun today and they'll, they'll, they'll feel your joy Lord, they'll know a little bit more about Jesus Lord and you'll just fill them with laughter and love um, today Lord in a world that seems to be still feeling an awful lot of pain. We pray that the excitement that people will be feeling today watching tennis and football uh, will just spill over into the rest of people's lives. And that when we come to church, we'll feel that about you, Jesus. That Jesus, you will just fill us with excitement and love in our every day and, and everything that we do. And Father, um, as, as we said, Lord, we're in a world that's hurting and there's still a lot of pain out there, even when um, things are starting to pick up. So I want to pray a little bit about prayer which um which um I, I i someone had sent and i'd heard a little bit and i just um i just think it's relevant to, to a lot of us today so here we go so dear blessed dear creator dear mother dear savior dear father dear brother dear holy other dear siblings dear baby dear patiently waiting dear sad and confused dear stuck and abused dear end of your rope dear worn out and broken dear go it alone dear running for home dear righteously anger forsaken dear family by jaded and quiet, tough times, they find, I pray that you will be heard. I pray that, that prayer won't be used as a sword against you, that your heart against, against your words. Um, I pray that you honour the grief that as it comes. I pray you will feel the life in your lungs. I pray that you will go all day being brave, that you can go home to bed, feel safe. I pray you're forgiven. I pray you forgive. I pray you set boundaries open to live. I, live, I pray that you feel that you're worth never leaving. I pray that you know I will always believe you. Father, we pray that many people will be praying prayers like that in their hearts, Father. We pray for those who might be struggling in our world and at home and, 
um, and in other countries, like Joe said, the people in Bali. We lift them all up to you and we lift the silent prayers of people's hearts. We pray, Lord, as we at Mutley enter into a, 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 almost a, a, a new, a new, a new beginning, a new way forward with, with Nick and Sally. Father, you will help us as we work together as a team, as we become the church that you want us to be, as we become a place that will feel safe for people, a place where people will feel loved and that they can feel part of. We pray for him and Sally that you will just give them the energy and strength to work with us. And we pray that we will, as I said, will work together. Just be with us the rest of the day, Lord, and, and be with Joe now. Um, as he shares your words in Jesus' name. Amen.